Today I am having a go at using the GreenCube CubeSat Digipeter. So GreenCube is a newish CubeSat launched on a Vega rocket um, and has a very high altitude. It's about 5,800 kilometers. So it's in medium Earth orbit. So it has a very, very large footprint, um, which can cover Australia, Japan, you know, Southeast Asia and New Zealand all at the same time. So what I'm using to communicate with it uh, is an ICOM IC9700 uh, into my WiMO X quad antennas. You can see them here on my camera. Uh, and in terms of software, I'm running uh, GPredict to do radio control. I'm using the UZ7HO sound modem uh, for decoding and transmission. And I'm also using the UZ7HO Digipeter software. Now the Digipeter on GreenCube is a little bit interesting. Um, it's just a message relay system, uh, but you can also specify a time delay before it replays the message. So a lot of these messages here, which is just a log of what I've been receiving over the last oh, three quarters of an hour or so. Oh, that's another point. The um, passes are very long because of the high altitude. Um, Many of these have an RX value of zero or a low number, which means they've been pretty much rebroadcast immediately. But then again, you see these kind of entries. RX value of 28,000. This means that this station, W5CB, whatever it was, CBF, okay, uh, sent that message that many seconds ago, and it's been rebroadcast. So people, what they're doing is sending messages with a very long um, delay time so they get rebroadcast over a different country. So you can kind of make QSOs with people in a different country through this delay feature. Here's another example here, uh, an Italian station working a ZL um, through a delayed message. So earlier on during the past I was able to work some Japanese stations which was pretty good fun and then later on uh, some ZLs and a DU9, which I think is the Philippines. Uh, so it does take a reasonable receive system to make this work. I've found that I've had many points in the past, uh, of, during the past, where I just couldn't decode telemetry reliably. Uh, right now it's working reasonably well. That's mostly because of my own local noise floor, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting satellite to work bit of effort to get the software going um, but yeah you, the footprint is huge and you can work stations over a huge area so very good fun